Remembrance of Allah Purify your heart with the Remembrance of Allah Purify your heart with the Remembrance of Allah الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله Dear viewers of Madani Channel Welcome and مرحبا to another episode of this beautiful series the remembrance of Allah Azza wa Jal. And inshallah, in today's episode, we are going to be discussing the divine grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the topic is, Allah is the most gracious. Yes, indeed, our Lord Azza wa Jal is the most gracious, subhanAllah. Every time you begin to do something good, you say, Bismillah rahman rahim Meaning that shows the divine grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The very first thing we read before we recite a surah of the Holy Quran, we remind ourselves of the divine grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And inshallah azza wa jal, before we dive deep into today's topic, let's inshallah remind one another to recite durood and salam in the court of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The beloved Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has said in his Mubarak Hadith that the one closest to me on the Day of Judgment will be the one who has recited the most durood upon me. So let's recite together. Sallu ala al-Habib, Sallallahu Ta'ala ala Muhammad, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Inshallah, as we are starting this episode, let's firstly listen to this beautiful hamd in the praise of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Thereafter, we can continue with the episode. So stay tuned with Madani Channel. Sallu ala al-Habib, sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Mawla, 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 gardi. Hum mujrim hai ghafar 
बेकार है तू बदकारों पर भी ऐसी अता बदकारों पर भी ऐसी अता सुबह नम्बा सुबह नम्बा सुबह हर एक के लिए दरते रखुला हर एक के लिए दरते रखुला सुबह नम्बा सुबह नम्बा सुबह सल्लु अल हबीब सल्ला तल महमद सल्ला वसलम वेलकम बैक टू यू व्यूज़ अलहमदिल्ला एज वी आर डिस्कसिंग दैट अल्लाह इज द मोस्ट ग्रेशियस यस सुबहान अल्लाह एंड एज मुस्लिम वी शुड बे इन माइंड दैट इफ अल्लाह अजल हैड इंटेंडेड फॉर अ मुस्लिम टू रिमेन इन हेल फॉर एवर यू वुड हैव नेवर ओपन द हार्ट ऑफ अ मुस्लिम टू बिलीविंग इन वन क्रिएटर इन सूरा الليل ان الله سبحانه وتعالى states in the holy quran ان علينا للهدى وان لنا للاخرة والاولى فانذرتكم نارا تلوى translation from kanzuliman therefore warn you of the fire that is ablaze none except the most wicked will enter it the one who denied and turned away as a sayyidna qatada radiyallahu ta'ala anhu mentions that they were informed that there were people in the days of ignorance who had performed many sins and when they accepted islam they were fearful on whether their sins would be pardoned in response to this allah azza wa jalla revealed the verses in surah az-zumar verse 53 which alhamdulillah is this beautiful ayah of the holy quran qul ya ibadiyal ladina asrafu ala anfusihim la taqnatu min rahmatillah 
ان الله يغفر الذنوب جميعا انه هو الغفور الرحيم proclaim o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam o my slaves who have wronged themselves do not lose hope in allah's mercy indeed allah azza wa jal forgives all sins and indeed he only is the oft forgiving the most merciful subhanallah subhanallah and there is this beautiful incident that is mentioned in tafsir tabari that sayyidina abu huraira radiyallahu ta'ala narrates that rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam has stated that if you commit so much of sin that it even reaches the sky and then make toba certainly allah azza wa jal will forgive you subhanallah subhanallah this hadith has been mentioned in sunan ibn majah and the beloved nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam has also stated that allah azza wa jal has declared o oh my slaves you spend your day and night in sinning and i continue to pardon you this is nothing to me therefore seek pardon from me and i will pardon you subhanallah this is a beautiful narration of sahih muslim sharif allahu akbar allah is the most gracious subhanallah sayyidina abu musa ashari radiyallahu ta'ala anhu he narrates that the beloved nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam has stated that there is no doubt that in the evening allah azza wa jal spreads his divine powers of mercy so that those who have sinned in the day can be pardoned and in the day he spreads his divine powers of mercy so that who have sinned in the night can be pardoned this continues until the break of dawn subhanallah subhanallah sayyidina anas ibn malik radiyallahu ta'ala anhu again narrates that the beloved nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam has mentioned that he heard allah azza wa jal declare o oh children of adam even if your sins reach the heavens and you ask to be pardoned i will pardon you and this is nothing to me o oh children of adam even if you arrive in my divine court with sins equal to the earth i will pardon you according to that on condition that you do not associate any partners with me allah this is the grace of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the mercy of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the forgiveness of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the way he showers us with his grace this is the manner allah akbar so what are we waiting for is in it time to make tauba and submit ourselves in the court of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to seek pardon for our sins for our wrong doings for our ways for which we regret for the things that we are not proud of is this not the time to really submit ourselves in the court of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and beg for his forgiveness for his divine grace may allah azza wa jal pardon all of us amin bi jahi nabi amin sallu alal habib sallallahu ta'ala ala muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam subhanallah as the umma of the beloved nabi sallallahu alayhi wasallam the grace the divine grace of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon the umma of the beloved nabi sallallahu alayhi wasallam is even greater has sayyidna abu musa ashari radiyallahu ta'ala anhu narrates that the beloved nabi sallallahu alayhi wasallam has stated that my umma is an umma which has been given mercy their punishment is given in this world through earthquakes and fitna when the day of judgment appears each ummati of mine will be given a kitabi and it will be told to him that this person will enter the fire of hell on your behalf allahu akbar allahu akbar the beloved nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam has stated that on the day of judgment allah azza wa jal will reveal his divine happiness to us and he will declare be joyous o muslims on behalf of each of you a kitabi will be placed in the fire of hell allah akbar 
This is the divine grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon the Ummah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sayyidina Sahl bin Sa'd radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he narrates that the beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has stated that without doubt, 2000 years before the creation, Allah Azza wa Jal had recorded on the paper of hope a certain divine promise and had placed this on the divine arsh and declared, O the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, without doubt, my divine mercy has superseded my divine wrath. I will bestow upon even before you ask and before seeking pardon, you will be pardoned. Whoever of you meets me and testifies that besides me there is no other deity and that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is my slave and messenger, I will allow him to enter Jannah. Subhanallah, subhanallah. This is the status of Ummah as subhanallah, the Ummah of the beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We owe it to our master, the beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Let's recite together Durood and Salam in the court of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And inshallah, in, in his praise, as Sayyidi Allah Hazrat Ali Rahmah, he says, Ya Nabi, Ya Nabi, Ya Nabi, Ya Nabi, Sabse Aula Wala Hamara Nabi, Sabse Aula Wala Hamara Nabi, Sabse Bala Wala Hamara Nabi, Ya Nabi, Ya Nabi, Ya Nabi. अपने मौला का प्यारा हमारा नबी अपने मौला का प्यारा हमारा नबी दोनों आलम का दो दुला हमारा नबी या नबी या नबी या नबी या नबी जैसे सब का खुदाएक है वैसे ही जैसे सब का खुदाएक है वैसे ही इनका उनका तुम्हारा हमारा नबी या 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 सब चमक वाले उजलों में चमका किए सब चमक वाले उजलों में चमका किए अंधे शीशे में चमका हमारा नबी या 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 कौन देता है देने को मुचाहिए कौन देता है देने को मुचाहिए देने वाला है सच्चा हमारा नबी या 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 اللهم صل وسلم وبارك عليه صل على الحبيب صل الله تعالى على محمد صل الله عليه وسلم. In another beautiful hadith, the beloved Nabi صلى الله عليه وسلم has mentioned that when the day of judgment appears, a caller from below the divine arsh will call out, "O the Ummah of Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم, what right was?" Owing to me by you, I have forgiven that. Therefore, pardon each other and through my divine mercy, enter Jannah. Subhanallah. This is the divine grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, especially on us, the Ummah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In another beautiful narration, Sayyidina Hassan radiallahu ta'ala narrates that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has stated, that there are a hundred dimensions to the divine mercy of Allah Azza wa Jal. And only one dimension of this mercy has been revealed to the world, 
and this is sufficient until the moment of death. Allah Azza wa Jal has kept this, meaning the balance of the divine mercy for the day of judgment. On the day of judgment, this will be added to the other 99 dimensions of the divine mercy of Allah Azza wa Jal and complete this upon his beloved servants and those who obeyed him. Subhanallah, Subhanallah. This is the divine grace of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Hazrat Sayyidina Umar radiAllahu Taala who once approached the beloved Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam and noticed that he was crying, and Sayyidina Umar asked, "Ya Rasulullah, why are you crying?" The beloved Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam replied that just now Jibril Amin appeared and said to me, "Allah Azza wa Jal." feels ashamed to punish that person who has become old in Islam. Therefore, why do those who have become old in Islam do not feel shame to disobey Allah Azza wa Jal? Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar. Hazrat Sayyidina Ahmed bin Sahl radiallahu ta'ala who mentions that he once saw Hazrat Sayyidina Yahya bin Aktham radiallahu ta'ala anhu in a dream and asked him how Allah Azza wa Jal had treated him. And he replied that Allah Azza wa Jal called me forward and said, O elderly person, I replied, O Allah, I have been informed by Sayyidina Abdul Razak, who was informed by Sayyidina Ma'mar, who was informed by Sayyidina Imam Zuhri, who was informed by Sayyidina Urwa who revealed that this is what was mentioned by Sayyidah Aisha Siddiqa radiallahu ta'ala anha, that the beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa had mentioned that Sayyidina Jibreel alayhi salam had informed me that Allah azza wa jal had declared, I feel ashamed that I punish someone who has white hair and who became aged in Islam. In other words, he became old in Islam. Allah Abdul Razak has spoken the truth. Sayyidina Ma'mar has spoken the truth. Imam Zuhri has spoken the truth. And Sayyidina Urwa radiallahu ta'ala anhu is also truthful. And Sayyidina Aisha Siddiqa radiallahu ta'ala anha has also spoken the truth. And my Nabi, my Prophet has also spoken the truth. Sayyidina Jibril Amin alayhi salam has also spoken the truth. And I have also spoken the truth. Allah Azza wa Jal then allowed me to enter Jannah from the right side. Subhanallah, Subhanallah. This beautiful narration has been mentioned in Tariq Baghdad. As Sayyidina Salman Farsi radiallahu ta'ala, who a great Sahabi of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam narrates that the beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has stated that on the day in which Allah azza wa jal brought the creation into existence, on the day he manifested a hundred dimensions of mercy, all of these have, have been placed one after the other in between the heavens and the earth. Only one divine dimension of mercy has been revealed on this earth. And it is through this that a mother has mercy for her child. Wild animals display mercy on the offspring until even a horse moves its legs away with the fear that its baby is not hurt. When the day of judgment appears, this one dimension of mercy will be added to the other dimensions and become a hundred in total. And this divine mercy of Allah Azza wa Jal in total will be displayed upon his servants. Subhanallah, Subhanallah. What more can be explained about this divine grace of Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala? Even if all of the creation had to fall into such that at once, they will never be able to repay one atoms of the weight of a single divine mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. His divine grace is such that leave alone the 99 dimensions of mercy, even for that one single divine mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we can never repay. In the Hadith Sharif, which explains that the Day of Judgment and the Pul Sirat, at the end of this hadith, the beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentions that Allah azza wa jal will command the angels that if you find the slightest amount of good in the heart of anyone, remove them from the fire of hell. The angels will then remove many people from the fire of hell. 
And then they will say, O our Lord, whatever you have commanded us, there is no one else who remains. Allah Azza wa will declare, my divine mercy encompasses everything. Subhanallah, Subhanallah. Sayyidina Abu Sa'id radiallahu ta'ala anhu has also mentioned that if you do not believe what I have narrated, then you should read this verse of the Holy Quran. And this is the verse 40 of Surah An-Nisa in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala declares, إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يَظْلِمُ مِثْقَالَ ذَرَّةِ وَإِن تَكُ حَسَنَةً يُضَاعِفْهَا وَيُؤْتِ مِنْ لَدُنْهُ أَجْرًا عَظِيمًا Translation from Kamzu Liman. Allah does not commit even the least injustice. And if there is a good deed, he doubles it and gives from himself a great reward. Subhanallah, subhanallah. Allah Azza wa Jal will then declare, the angels have interceded, the prophets have interceded. Now only the divine being of Allah remains. He will then remove as per his divine being, so much of people from the fire of hell whose only good deed was that they believed in Allah Azza wa Jal as one divine creator. Their bodies would have become like coal near the door of Jannah. They will be placed into the fountain of eternal life and they will arise like someone who has been washed of all mud after a huge flood. Subhanallah. They will arise like pieces of jewel. On their necks, there will be garlands of gold and the people of Jannah will recognize them and say that these are the servants of Allah who have been freed and who have been placed in Jannah without doing any good and noble deed. It will be told to them, enter Jannah. And whatever you see, it belongs to you. They will ask, Oh Lord, you have given us so much, which you have not given to anyone else. Allah Azza wa Jal will declare that there is something even better than this, which is kept for them. They will ask what that is. And Allah Azza wa Jal will declare that I have become pleased with you and will never become angry with you. Subhanallah, subhanallah. This is the divine grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is mentioned that Sayyidina Adam alayhi salam will intercede for billions of humans and his intercession will be accepted. Sayyidina Jabir ibn Abdullah radiallahu ta'ala anhu narrates that the beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa has stated that my intercession will be for the major sinners of among my ummah. Sayyidina Allah says, Kya hi zawqafza, shafaat hai tumhari wahwa, qarz leti hai guna, parhez gari wahwa. Such is the beautiful intercession of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In one narration it is mentioned that once a Bedouin asked the beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa O Prophet of Allah, who will take account for creation? The beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa replied that Allah azza wa jal will do so. Again the Bedouin asked, will he himself take account? Again the beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa replied, yes, it would be Allah azza wa jal. When he heard this, the Bedouin began to smile. The beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa asked him the reason for smiling. And he said, when a Kareem has power over everything, he always pardons that person. When he holds to account, he forgives. The beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa when he heard these words, he declared the Bedouin has spoken the truth. Understand there is no greater Kareem then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, subhanallah, subhanallah, Allah is kareem, Allah is gracious, subhanallah. He then read a few couplets which meant that when the rights of someone had become established in front of the kareem, then due to his infinite dignity, he forgives the person. He ignores the sins of those who have been disobedient, even though their sins have been established and they are guilty. There is a famous hadith uh, which mentions that the divine mercy of Allah Azza wa had 
already superseded his divine wrath even before the creation came into existence. SubhanAllah, this is mentioned in Nihya'ul-Umiddin. And it is mentioned that one day a villager heard Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhumah recite verse number 103 of Surah Ali Imran which is وَكُنْتُمْ عَلَى شَفَا حُفْرَةٍ مِّنَ النَّارِ فَأَنْقَذَكُمْ مِّنْهَا And you were on the edge of a pit of fire. So he saved you from it. He then said, I swear by Allah that if Ar-Rahman and Ar-Rahim wanted to throw me into the fire of hell, he would have never saved me. When Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhuma heard these words, he declared, bear in mind the words of this villager. It is very mighty even though he is not a learned scholar. Subhanallah, subhanallah. This is the divine grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah azza wa jal make us deserving of this divine grace. Ameen bijahi nabi lameen. Let's inshallah pray in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he forgives us, he pardon us and that he enters us into his jannah. Ameen bijahi nabi lameen through the shafaat of Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sallu ala al-habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Remembrance of Allah Purify your heart with the Remembrance of Allah Purify your heart with the Remembrance of Allah